Good morning, I'm Linda Philpott. I'm here to share how my faith has helped me through many trials. The end of Habakkuk gives affirmation of faith in a very difficult time. Habakkuk says, though the fig tree should not blossom and there be no fruit on the vines, yet I will exalt in the Lord. I will rejoice in the Lord God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. Many of you know that about a year and a half ago, my husband Steve was diagnosed and hospitalized with COVID-19. He was in the hospital and rehab for a total of 97 days. This March, Steve was diagnosed with cancer. It was a slow growing cancer, but due to the COVID, it was aggressive. And then on June 26th, the Lord took Steve home. But this was not the end of my trial. In September, my dad, who had been mailing a long illness, was put on hospice, and God took him home on September 11th. Then a week and a half later, my 21-year-old nephew went missing, and his body was found four days later. I honestly don't know how I would have been able to survive this journey without my faith. From the day that I dropped Steve off at the ER, not knowing when I would see him again, I knew that I would not be able to handle this on my own. My typical morning was a conversation with God going, God, I can't make it through this day without you, your help and strength. I started reading the Psalms every night to help me rest. I started with chapter one and continued. Then I got to the 23rd Psalm, a Psalm I learned as a child, and it took, and it meant a lot to me because not only was giving me strength, he was also able to guide and comfort me knowing that God was there and that he was never going to leave me or forsake me in my time of trial was one of the biggest truths that I was able to lean on. I also learned that I needed to share what was going on with others who could pray because of the power of prayer. For me, being able to share was a big step in my faith because I'm one who would rather stay in the background and not bother anyone else. Yet the phone calls started coming in from the pastors and others at the church asking what we needed and how they could help. At first, the answer was easier, just pray because everyone was on lockdown and that was about all anyone could do. It took a pastor telling me that the church wanted to show their love by helping me. This made me realize that God had placed me in a church to help me grow on my faith by leaning on the church in the midst of my trials. Through this testimony, I want to rejoice in God for he is my strength, as Habakkuk says, and I want to encourage others going through the church trials that you don't have to go through them alone. God is there for you to lean on. He will never leave you or forsake you, and you have a church family that is ready to love on you any way they can. Thank you.